We're spending so much more time on various like electronic devices, whether it be our phone, our iPad or our laptop. I know I'm spending way much more time on it. But this is also the opportunity to just go through the apps and various things just to declutter some of the things that we need to get rid of. And I've identified 10 of those things that I'm actively doing myself. So here they are. Go through those unused social media apps. I know that I download a lot of social media apps based on recommendations from other influencers or bloggers and then I try it myself and I end up never using it. So I have like a bunch of them that are tried and tested and I just on a daily basis don't use it at all. So this is the opportunity to go through your phone, look at those unused apps that you've downloaded and realize that it's not working or benefiting you in any way and just delete them because there's no point using an app that is literally on your phone taking up space and doesn't serve you a purpose whatsoever. Next is to go through your email. So I use emails every day of my life and whenever I wake up in the morning that's the first thing I check and I always find that I have a bunch of emails that are not related to me in any way that either find my email address on my social media platforms and they feel the need that this is the time to use my email and to market irrelevant things to me and a lot of the times I just mark it as spam because I find that just going through and surfing through the unsubscribe button just takes so much time. Spend or block out some time to go through newsletters that don't serve you any purpose and just unsubscribe them for good. The next thing I would suggest is to declutter your photos and if you're like a blogger or um, just someone who likes to share pictures in general on whether on your social media platform we do take a lot of selfies to get that perfect one to put on our social media and so you'll find that there's like 200 of the same sort of picture on your phone and it's actually taking up a lot of space I actually just got a notification that my iCloud space is actually full and I was like how is that even possible and I had to upgrade it but before I was upgrading I went through all my pictures and deleted the ones that I know is not beneficial to me I know that I'm not going to use I'm not going to look at all like 200 pictures that I took of the same sort of style that I have this is one thing I am so guilty of and it is to just declutter your desktop or your download folder I download such a lot of stuff whether it be documents pictures anything that I would need to upload at some point in time especially my desktop I save all over on my desktop and whenever I open it I just get whenever I open my laptop I am just like not in the mood to even go through it but this is one thing that I found that really 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 you actually have to go if you need those 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 files all those pictures that you've saved on your desktop rather put it in folders and then it's just neat and tidy I've gone through it through it now because my laptop laptop was actually acting up and also it takes a lot of RAM on your laptop itself so rather just spend the time I know it's hectic I know you don't want to do it I've, I've left my desktop like that for a very long time but just go through it delete the things that you no longer need and if you do need those particular things rather just put it in a folder and it would look neat and tight when I'm doing research and I know I want to go back to that particular site because I always forget the site and where I found certain things. I always bookmark them. So go through your bookmarks and just delete those things that you no longer need. I know that I bookmark a lot of stuff just for future reference and I never ever do go back to it to be honest. So declutter your bookmark because you don't need all of it. This is one thing that I have actively been doing the last month and a half and it's to unfollow people that don't inspire you anymore. In all honesty, I just feel like the some people are not relatable anymore and so it points me following people that have no impact on my daily life. I do, if I know that there are people that I do genuinely want to follow, but I don't really like the three, four posts that they post a day. I actually mute them, but yeah, just don't don't feel guilty by unfollowing people. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that the content that they produce is no longer relatable or they don't inspire you anymore. Gosh, this is one thing that I'm still actively going to do, and that is my phone contacts. 
I've had my phone number for the last like 15 years. So I've obviously have an extensive phone contact list. But in all honesty, I only probably phone 20 people out of their contact list. So set some time out. Go through those contact lists and just delete the people that you genuinely don't have contact with anymore. The next one I would suggest is to go through your music library. And I am one of those people that do this. And like I find a song and then I end up downloading the entire album. And I only like two songs out of that album but I still have the whole album on my iTunes. So <laughs> you have to just go and keep the songs that you genuinely like and just delete the other songs or delete the album if, if the song is no longer of your taste the next thing i would say is to go through some of the files on your pc i am i do this a lot and i save files on there just because of saving it but it doesn't serve a purpose anymore so spend some time going through your computer seeing what files are no longer of relevance to you and just delete them because they do take up a lot of space especially storage space on your hardware itself the last thing that i would say go to go through your declutter <laughs> is you watch later list on youtube or on facebook i do a lot is that i see videos of recipes and things and i put it under save and honestly it makes no sense like if i'm genuinely gonna watch that thing and i've watched it but if it's been there for more than like three to six months and it's time to let those things go i find that that just clutters a whole lot of just your life and it's pointless having it now guys those are the 10 things that i would suggest you declutter in your digital space because we're all spending so much more time on our electronic devices if there is anything that i must let me know in the comment section below i would love to declutter that particular thing that i've missed out on and i will see you in my next video bye guys